The V-65 Molotov, one of my favorite aircraft in GTA Online. This plane right here is based on the MiG-15 Russian aircraft and it is one of the first successful aircraft and one of the fastest in real life. When they added this aircraft to this game, although it is considered one of the fastest aircraft in the game, it is sadly considered the worst dogfighter. And today we're going to talk about the V-65 Molotov the aircraft that could have been more. So the B-65 Molotov, we all like to consider it the worst fighter jet in this game. But why is that? Well, it has the worst handling in this category, has the worst looping, the worst turning, horrible acceleration. So why rock this aircraft? Well, it's uh, this aircraft Although it sounds horrible on paper, as the way I'm making it sound right now, it does have a purpose in GTA Online. And, well, you can consider it a noob-friendly vehicle. Let's just say people don't know how to fly. And this aircraft right here is very stable, although it is not like the Pyro where it moves all around and it's very twitchy. This aircraft is extremely stable. And as you can see right here on the footage, I crashed it to the ground and didn't even die, didn't even suffer a scratch. So it also has good armor, so if a new pilot controls this aircraft and crashes it, they might still survive and still practice what it means to fly in this game. Another purpose the B-65 Molotov has over any other aircraft is that this is considered one of the best, if not the best aircraft for grinders. But why is that? It does not have explosive cannons, so why is it good? Well, it has great top speed, it is extremely easy to land, and it has spammable missiles, which you can use to lock onto basically every single NPC in the game, and since you can stall this aircraft pretty easily, you can spam missiles heading directly their way, making it really good for headhunter and headhunter armor cars because you can pretty much go really slow and spam missiles their way destroying the aircraft, I mean destroying their cars basically in a single straight run. Another thing it has is that it's extremely easy to land as I said. You can pretty much land this thing anywhere on the map maybe even land it in front of your business, resupply your business and make your way to your other business just like that because you can take off pretty much with no problem due to how easy it is to land and take off. So it has that going for it. And another thing that this aircraft has that a lot of people do not talk about is air shows. Since this is considered one of the most, ag not agile, but stable aircraft in the game, you can pretty much make any air show you want with this thing, no problem. Maybe take off the weapons, take off the drop tanks and put some smoke on the back, you can pretty much make some cool air shells with this thing. And if you have a team of four or just a squadron to make an air shell with you, you can pretty much make some pretty cool moments. Maybe add a little bit of music here or there, and you can make a really cool montage with this aircraft. I've seen it before. It is extremely cool, and I'm going to post it in the description so you can see the V-65 model talk in action. Now, as good as the aircraft is for grinding, for flying, you know, just stable uh, for air shows as good as it is for those things sadly it sucks at PvP and when I mean it sucks it really sucks it has the worst handling and turning it has the worst handling and looping it has the worst handling basically in everything and sadly it cannot even beat a Hydra it has pretty powerful non-explosive cannons which a lot of people don't like because if the cannon does not go boom boom it sucks apparently but yeah it has powerful cannons it has spammable vessels which you can use but sadly if you get any aircraft turning besides this thing you will not be able to out turn them due to its horrible handling so it kinda sucks for that the only thing I can see this aircraft being good at in PvP is dive bombing people with the missiles it's the only thing I see going for that it's actually good for. Other than that, I'm sorry to say this, but this aircraft sucks. And it pains me to say that because this is a pretty cool aircraft. 
Now, I wish I could take this thing more for PvP. Sadly, people just spam Oppressor Martus all the time. So, in PvP wise, this thing, is, this thing isn't gonna do you any favors. So, sadly, it sucks for that. But, yeah, at least it's good for air shows. And it's good for grinding, and it's good for new, you know, new peop, uh, new pilots that want to learn how to fly. It's good for that. So it has that going for, for it. And I wish I, w if there's one thing I would wish they would buff about this aircraft, it's the handling. At least give it laser handling when you put it on race handling, so that way we have like a laser without explosive cannons. So that could be cool. And yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Would you guys like me to make another video like this explaining other aircraft? If so, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.